Hey guys, welcome to Technability, and today I'm going to go ahead and cover the issue of Wi-Fi calling. Well, the reason I'm making this video is primarily to tell you guys the issue that's been going on with T-Mobile and custom ROMs of Jellybean 4.2.2. Now, currently with T-Mobile, you're not able to make it, you know, use Wi-Fi calling on your phone. So, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little workaround on how to achieve this. Now, as you can see, uh, I'm currently located in a place where I do not have service. As you can see there, there's a little X on my status bar. However, I do have Wi-Fi access. Now, this is a very easy solution, very simple, and um, you know you guys can all have this up and running very shortly. So the first thing that I'm going to tell you to do here is go ahead and download something called Takatone. So I'm going to show you here in the Play Store. Uh, let's see. If you just search Wi-Fi calling, it should show up. Uh, in the results, or you can just go ahead and directly search for Takatone. Now the difference primarily between Takatone and all these other service providers is these other service providers require that you, you know, have an account with them and purchase minutes, so on and so forth. However, with Takatone, the good thing is, is you can go ahead and use your Google Voice account, which is absolutely free, and it allows you to receive incoming calls and send outgoing calls. So that's great. I mean, stock Google Voice doesn't even allow you to do that. However, Takatone does allow you to do that. So anyways, you're going to go ahead and, and search in the Google Play Store for Takatone, which is this app right here. Now, I've already installed it, so I'm going to go ahead and run it for you, which looks like a standard dialer. Um, it's going to go ahead and ask you to set up, um, you know, log in with your user uh, Google Voice account. And once you do all that, uh, it'll automatically go ahead and allow you to make calls. Now, with your Google Voice account, if you don't have a Google Voice number, it'll direct you to the Google Voice website where you can go ahead and set up a number, which is fairly simple, very easy to do. And once you've got that up and running, you go ahead and insert your user credentials into Takatone, and it immediately allows you to start sending and receiving calls. And I have no service or anything here, but I'm calling directly over Wi-Fi absolutely free. Now, here I have Bear just phone, and... And, it, and, it, and, it's, and it's connected just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and deny this call. Ability yeah. for you to, uh, the ability for you to forward calls to your Takatone number, or in, in other words, your Google Voice number. So what this means is, let's say, for example, you're using your phone and your office is located somewhere where you don't have good service. Well, what you could do is you can have Google Voice forward any calls that are you know, uh, unreachable directly to your Google Voice number. And what happens is if you have Takatone installed on your Android device and you get a call and the call is not a, be able, is, you're not able to be reached, what happens is it'll go ahead and port that over to the Google Voice number and your phone will ring using the Takatone software. Now the software is very unintrusive, it doesn't get in the way, it just you know, sits in the background and when you do have standard service, you can go ahead and use your standard dialer. However, when you do not have service and you do have Wi-Fi access, you can completely use Takatone absolutely free. And um, I really suggest it. It's a really good app, and I really haven't seen anything else that allows you to utilize the Google Voice features as good as Takatone.